Hi, this is Mike Howe from Metal Church, and you're watching The Metal Voice. Welcome to The Metal Voice. Today on the show, oh yeah, we got Mike Howe, lead singer of Metal Church. He is back after 21 years. Mike, what's going on? Yeah, just another uh, beautiful day in paradise. That's what's going on, playing heavy metal. So, Mike, you're, we're, we're going to mix it up today. I got some questions, and I also have some fan questions. A lot of people have been writing me, asking me to ask you questions. So I'll try to integrate them as we're going along. Okay. Mike, you've been gone 21 years. You're back. How does it feel? And I mean, how does it feel? What has changed for the better and for the worse? I, I can't say anything has changed for the worse, honestly. You know, it's all good. And uh, things have changed in the way of recording, in the way we deal with the uh, record company, and the way that we're enjoying uh, the process of writing and recording and playing our music uh, compared to the 20, uh, 21, 22 years ago, as you said, you know. Um, the advent of uh, electronic, you know, computers and, and to, to aid in, you know, our writing process and making it, uh, uh, keeping chemistry from not having to stop and redo things and all that, that was, was an advantage that way. And, you know, a small record label these days that we can speak to the, uh, the owner, Joe uh, O'Brien, Rat Pack, uh, anytime we want to on a daily basis and see w what's going on with uh, the work they're doing for us and they are doing a tremendous job for us and we can see that so that's a, a huge advantage from the past uh, being lost in a gigantic record company and not knowing if anybody really cared or, uh, or was doing anything for you because you weren't, you weren't actually allowed to talk to anybody so <laughs> those are some of the major points just having control of your, your destiny and uh, knowing what you want to do. A question from Stephanos now. Uh, what made you okay. come out of retirement? I mean, what was the turning point that you said, you know what, I'm going to do this again? It was uh, Kurt Vanderhoof's amazing power of persuasion. And, and uh, you know, just rekindling a friendship with him and uh, hearing the amazing riffs and songs he was putting together in the demo stage. The allure of you know getting together and, and having that magical writing chemistry that we had back in the late '80s, early '90s, and, and just revisiting that and, and actually trying to just uh, tie up some loose ends and some unfinished business that uh, I think was left uh, when I left the band. You know, as far as not getting to do a record. Uh, exactly how we wanted to do it, and uh, this time we we did exactly what we wanted to do, without any external pressures or anybody telling us what they think we should do. So that that is a huge draw. And, and I should mention, you know, Metal Church's new album, Eleven, is out now. Go buy it. Go pick it up on Rat Pack Records. Now, Tom wants to know: Are you in this just for you know one record, or are you on in this for the long haul? Or are you just going to see how it goes? Uh, I'm in it for as long as it lets me be in it. You know, I, I, I believe in you know faith and w what will be what it, it will be what it will be. And I'm just living in the moment and enjoying what is uh, happening to us at this moment. Uh, we, we took the baby steps in making the record and said we're going to make the record. First off, and if that uh, goes well and, and we're happy with the process, which we were, then we will continue on and take that music out on the road and see if that's doable, which it turned out to be. And things, you know, the stars are kind of aligned for Metal Church, and we're very happy at, and thankful and grateful uh, for the position we are in right now in, in this time of our lives. So. We're kind of just riding the wave of, of happiness and uh, what's going on with our band. And we'll ride that as long as uh, things keep going well for us. And you know, I, I've listened to the album, and it's a real grower. I really liked it on my first impression, but I keep liking it more and more. I think, you know, there's a lot of work put in there. And the lyrical themes, I mean, are they mostly based on, and again, I'm just, I'm just assuming here, you coming back into the fold, sort of like reset, Signal path is are, like I mean, what lyrical themes did you touch on in this new album, Eleven? Well, 
this time around, we, we really wanted to be spontaneous and, and not overthink it. And that was a, that was a purposeful between Kurt and I. Uh, we just wanted to go back and, and let the creative juices flow, so to speak, and just, uh, play, uh, you know, he, he wrote uh, a basic structure. He wrote the structures of the song and sent them, sent them to me and I listened to them. And then once he had enough written, I went up to his studio in, in uh, Aberdeen, Washington, and he set up a mic and played them back to me and whatever flowed out of me uh, melodically and uh, lyrically, we'd keep some and we'd throw some other way. But it was just, we really wanted to create a spontaneous, you know, organic the word they use a lot these days, kind of experience and see what came out of it and just and try to flow that way. And, and that's what we did. And I think it, it really worked for us. Oh. The lyrics that came out, yeah, Sorry. we tried to build on those ideas that I accidentally, you know, came out of my mouth during the time and what inspired us. And, and we built on that. Favorite tracks on the album? They're all, they're like children, as I like to equate that with. They're children of yours, so you don't really have a, favorite of yours, but you go through phases of listening to one or the other and loving loving each one. <laughs> Just like kids, right? One day you like one guy when he's nice, right. and the other one you like the other one yeah. he's nice, one, and when he's one, bad you switch yeah, it up. Yeah, one day right? one's not treating you so well and you stop listening to it, and then the next day you're like, <laughs> hey, it's really it's doing good today. <laughs> Tyler wants to know, favorite tracks, okay, so I'm not sure if you were following Metal Church for those 21 years, but I'm assuming you have. Favorite song that you no. did sing on and favorite song that you haven't sung on? I'm, I'm very proud of all the songs that we've written and the songs of the set are w what I've chosen, the songs of my favorite ones to sing live, but they're, they're all great to sing, but I really prefer singing brand new songs. So the, the ones we've written, the most recent and the ones we're doing in the set are the most exciting for me to sing. So uh, that's my answer to that. Um, the ones... Of Dave Wayne's era, my favorite, that's an easy one, my favorite one to sing of Dave Wayne's era is Beyond the Black. Bill would like to know, would you ever consider joining up with Heretic? Those guys are great. I haven't even been in contact with them longer than I was out of contact with Kirk Banner up in the Metal Church. So, you know, the, 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 poss the probability is probably zero, but uh, it, it's a nice thought. And now we're almost coming full circle here, hanging in the balance. At what point did you say, you know what, I had enough of this, I'm just going into retirement, or, you know, that's it for me? I mean, that, that album in that period of time was very difficult for us, because, uh, you know, it was the beginning of the end, and uh, all the things that, that, that were going to get in our way to dismantle the band or break it up uh, came together in a perfect storm, and that's exactly what happened. So, you know, from management... A record company that didn't care to you know to tough times for heavy metal music at that time but uh, there were a lot of straws that were piling up on the, the camel's back so to speak and uh, I, this is one I say a lot just to point to a specific when people say well what, what were they and uh, you know the album cover of Hanging the Mouse was always a, a very big sticking point for me and, and I really I did not like the album cover. It was embarrassing to me. I didn't think it represented what I and Kirk wanted us to be represented at as, but it was it was forced upon us. And at, at that time in our lives and in the age we were, we weren't strong enough to stand up for what we believed and, and uh, management was stronger. And so, unfortunately, that's the way things go sometimes when you're young and you, you don't have as much... Uh, business sense or will to go up against people who are powerful people in the business and management, management and record company that you're looking to to help you and guide you. So, unfortunately, that was one of them, uh, and uh, it led me down the road of I'm um, done with this, and music business is not for me. I mean, I'm seeing the buzz all over the internet. What's the feedback like when you go out and play a show? Does it, do, you, do, you feel, um, do you feel great just knowing that you, did, you made the right decision? We just hope that the fans re uh, reacted and, and gave us a good response to that, and they have been, and it's just really, it's really awesome. We're coming out, they're supporting us, they're, they're thanking us for coming back and doing this again, and it's just like an all-around great experience, I think, and, and it's a, it's, it couldn't have been any better return for me. That's nice to hear. 
All right, some offbeat questions. Yeah. ACDC Axl Rose, what do you think? <laughs> we're changing know, gears here, man. We're changing art. gears. You know, anyone, everyone's got their own opinion, and that's what, that's what art is about, and I, I respect that. You know, but for me, yeah, I'm not a... I was a... I was a Bon Scott fan for ACDC, so he was a huge influence when I was young. I wanted to be Bon Scott and, and Rob Halford in the mix as a singer. So, of course, there'll be no other singer, and especially Axl Rose. Your thoughts on the U.S. presidential election? It's big news right now. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an embarrassment to me. The United States is, is becoming a reality TV show, and, it, and I wish it was a, a little bit more professional and it's quite it's quite disappointing in, in the way that the politics are going these days. Thanks for being on well, the show. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for having me on. You know, pick up the new album, Eleven Metal Church on Rat Pack Records. Mike Howe is back, and he's coming back with a vengeance. And catch you next time on The Metal Voice.